Not knowing uh, what is wrong with our children is affecting us uh, a lot of things. It's frustrating. You cannot explain to also the outer world, to your family or friends. It's uh, not very easy for me that I don't know what's well wrong, wrong with me. And uh, I cannot tell very good to people what I have because people, because I don't know. Eight years ago, I lived in The Hague. It's in the west of the Netherlands. So in a bar we met and um, I think half a year later of uh, going back and forth, um, I moved to Nijmegen. And we live here in this house now for three years. And that was the start of our journey uh, as parents. We uh, stopped working four years ago because of the illness of the boys. Uh, I could not manage it by myself anymore with the doctor appointments and uh, with the therapist and it was too much. So now we're 24-7 together. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> but that's okay. But it works. At that time I was pregnant with Abel and when we heard it was a boy, the doctor said that it's a boy and we have to watch him closely uh, when he delivers and his development. And yeah, soon, I think after a year, we also saw with Abel a lot of tiredness, uh, his speech. And they did a lot of research and terrible things we had to go through with the children. And at the age of when Abel was two, I said, stop. Stop, stop, stop. It's, uh, we stop it. We joined the research for DNA at the wrap out at the age of six, seven with uh, Seem. Uh, Seem was the first one to join the research because he was affected more uh, physiologically and Thais were more affected in his brain. Hospitals says they have a, a lot of puzzle pieces. The puzzle's almost done, but we're missing puzzle pieces. So they cannot tell us what what's wrong and um, yeah I think that's in a nutshell the journey we've been through with them and still are it hurts that they have to go through that every time and every time again for years uh, so yeah, yeah. and um, it's hard uh, to see your children uh, not developing uh, like normal children and um, uh, and they're now at the age that they understand that they are different and that's even more harder. Emotionally, uh, it affects us as parents a lot. I wish I, uh, she can go to a soccer game. He loves it, but it's, it's not possible. They see our children and uh, they, they sometimes ask what, are, what is wrong with them. I think uh, the number of tests they went through, I think Sim went through, I think uh, 30 testing of, and again, and also Thais with the MRI was eight years old and uh, he was in the bath with Sim and he was underwater and Sim was like, Five or six. With his head going down. And then, and I was sitting, saying to Sim, asking at Sim, what is Thais doing? Oh, he doesn't want to live anymore. And I was like, uh, yeah, for support we lean on each other because uh, we both know how it is to be in it. Explaining a little bit and maybe finding other children or parents, and we could say, you're not the only one. Uh, because they think they are, they're the only one. They're yeah. feeling alone. The kids also would like to know. Uh, for us, it's important to know, but I think it's more important for the children to know. It's, it's their life. They, they have to go through it the rest of their lives. So I think um, for the children... It's to know. Yeah. They're struggling. <laughs>